Once they get like kind of riled up. Yeah, yeah. Oh gosh, yeah. She's been like it all morning. Where I'm actually stood, I'm actually stood in the boulder field. Uh, this is really quite a nasty place to be standing. With. So we are on the ferry now. Just come outside to have a little bit of a look and see what we've got to take pictures of. So good morning. And uh, an exhausting morning it is too. Uh, we've got a little touch of colour in the sky. But I'm actually nowhere near where I need to be yet. And I've definitely not got the camera out and set up. We are still up in Scotland. At the moment, you can probably tell I'm heading uphill. We drove in from Fort William and we come through the Corran Bridge. We then headed into Fort William for a spot of lunch. Then heading on up towards sky Rex comes through. <laughs> on the way up here of course we passed some amazing views the fog was amazing well the low cloud the locks were calm couldn't stop anywhere to take photographs as per usual so we plodded on through come over the bridge heading into sky uh, my plan very much my plan for weeks and months of this trip was to go to the Quarang this morning but the waterfalls, with the amount of rain we've had over the last few days, with lots of road floods, there's floods everywhere, the roads are underwater. We're lucky we got through. So I was talking to Steve, I'm with Mr. Steve Hargate and Andrew, they're behind me. Uh, talking to Steve last night about planning this morning, and I realized we've got to cross two streams and a small river to get to the the Korang and the part of the Korang I wanted to go to. Thus thinking it's going to be under an absolute torrent of water. So instead, instead of going to the Korang, we thought we're going to get a, a little bit of a clear morning. And that meant, let's do the old man a store. And he is looming above my head up there. You probably can't quite see him, but he's up there looming in the distance you can see in there in the camera the sky out there is clearing it actually looks really moody and really effective behind me you can see this big thick bank of cloud and fog in there going out into the the lock and the clearness and there's a little touches of color up in the sky like i say i'm nowhere near where i need to be so i'm going to carry on plodding up set up the camera we're not alone there's loads of other people walked up here just now in the morning as well in the pitch black. Everyone's really keen to get a picture by the looks of it. Let's see what we can do. And uh, we're heading off somewhere very special later on today. Could be part two, three, four, whatever. Well, I don't even know what episode I'm on. Uh, could be the next video, but it might be the same video. Let's see, let's see, let's see what happens. Well, I decided to get my camera out now before we get to the viewpoint because the viewpoint keeps disappearing in fog. So there's absolutely no point in getting to the main viewpoint. And I've been there before. I'll put an image up to show you what it looks like from that viewpoint. But I'm just walking up to, you can, well, you can see store over my head there, but I'm walking up and I'm seeing this pinnacle up in front of me and it's looking so Game of Thrones. And I know The Witcher was filmed here, which is so, so cool. I love stuff like that. I'm really into all those sort of um, Viking style, futuristic style fairy tale type of things i really like all that so knowing that the witcher was filmed is so so really cool uh, but yeah this looks really um quite mystical it's got that very mystical look to it so i've taken a, a horizontal and i've just taken a vertical using this pathway leading you straight up to that pinnacle absolutely bonkers uh, the fog's rolling in and rolling out so i don't know if it's gonna actually pull away and disappear if it does then we'll go and get more of a classic shot but i'm looking at thinking about going between the rocks and shooting back between the two but if you do that they become silhouetted so I don't know I'm going to try and work something out around here I think because I like the idea of getting it from a different angle than I would normally. Suddenly, this, all this mist has just cleared, and we've just managed to get a real, really sharp view of everything that's going on in front of us. We're not in the classic location, we are definitely down uh, off the uh, main location, but it's pretty cool. We're getting the pinnacle, like the, the castle, and then we're getting store sitting there over on the left hand side. 
Um, so yeah, pretty good. And there's a nice bit of mist going on in the background. So we have got a slightly different image than the normal. And with it clearing the way it is, I think we're definitely going to be making our way up onto the top. We've got pink skies behind us as well. So I think we're going to crack on and see if we can get over to the viewpoint now. So we've come up now behind, uh, between store and the uh, like the castle bit with the little pinnacles sticking up. And I'm gonna do a panoramic shooting across from left to right. Uh, the fog's cleared at the moment, but I think it's gonna come back in. Now I'm stretching my sky by bringing my, uh, tilting my camera forward a little bit. So it's trying to bring everything back in. Um, I've got, a decent green line on the back so I'm going to bracket this as well because we've got blue sky with fog so I'm just going to do a sweep across uh, just to try and get this the two the two you know the two stacks in um, so let's see how many shots we get that's one we probably get about four and it looks like I've got some light spots on the front so before I do that I'm going to scrap that off get the lens cloth out and give the lens a wipe because it's obviously picked up a little bit of dew so uh, we'll go back to the beginning We'll just give that a wipe. I've got the polarizer on as well, so it's just taking some of the sheen off. Uh, and actually adding the sheen back in because I think the sheen actually works quite nicely. Um, so yeah, let's, let's do that again. Put my hand in it this time. Uh, get me first shot with my hand in it. And then we'll try again uh, and make sure we get to a cleaner shot. I could just see the, uh, like the, the water droplets on the lens as I started to shoot. So let's do a sweep again probably about four images so there's number one and the reason I'm bracketing is because now the lights behind the rocks they're falling into shadow a little bit and I just want to see and make sure I get that detail uh, from the rocks inside so we'll spin it round and I think we might be alright with that I'm hoping to get another one with a little bit of mist and texture if it just rolls back in again from the sky so yeah, and then we'll take one with my hand in it as well, just to make sure I know that's the end. And then we can start again if the conditions change a little bit. Never easy to shoot on a wide angle lens on a pano. That fog's rolled back in a little bit again now, down in the bottom here. I was just watching it down in this bottom corner, coming in from behind the hill, and it's just clipping the top of the little old man up there, and it's just clipping the top. Uh, and we've got this fog's just rolling in again out from the out, out to sea, so it's just coming in and cladding us in. And behind us, just behind us there, uh, it doesn't somewhat, doesn't want to seem to tilt up. Let's have a look. There we go. Um, there, behind us up there as well, that was clear just now, and the sun was just hitting the top of those cliffs, and now it's all gone. But where I'm actually stood, I'm actually stood in the boulder field. Uh, this is really quite a nasty place to be standing because any rocks coming down off the cliff will come down here and take you out. Um, I'm not sure what's new and what's fresh, but there is some definitely fresh gravel around here. And there is a rock down here I saw just now. Uh, I don't know where it's gone. It was right below me. Um, and it's bright red, but I've lost it. I don't know where I was stood, but there was, oh, it's right, but it's literally right below my feet. Look, down here, there's a bright red rock, almost like a bit yeah. of dragon stone down there. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you wouldn't want to be here when you get any rock fall coming down. And like I say, this is, this is the boulder field that, uh, yeah, you're in the in the, in, a, in a wrong area to be honest. So the sun's coming out a little bit now and starting to light different things up. And I'm trying to get a bit of a shot with the sun behind, or a look, like a silhouette style shot. Uh, the light is catching the side of the old man, and I'm behind what I call like the castle sort of style of the image. Um, it's it's a nice shot, but. It's a, I'm just not sure whether I've got everything in that I quite want to get into it. Um, yeah, I'm having to bracket because of the dynamic range is absolutely insane. And I've just seen a guy, yeah, there's a guy up on the left here just now. Let's just look at this. There's a guy up on the left and I think that's quite a good little shot. He's just on the top of this rock just here. 
So I wonder whether it's worth getting up there and having a look. But yeah, look at the sunlight coming behind the old castle there. And then you've got store just over here on this side. It's looking good, but the sun's just in this corner. Very, very bright, but it's causing a really cool silhouette um, and making it look very dramatic. So uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all, really, to be honest. And the, the, the clouds are beautiful. It's so calm. It's definitely time to take my waterproof coat off because we don't need that one anymore. I'm just trying to get a picture of what's going on out here and I've got the fog coming back in now and it's really really harsh because the sunlight's got really really bright but it's still making for some quite nice interesting shots so uh, yeah let's see let's see if this one works I'm gonna have to massively do the dynamic range though two over three over four over I don't know but we'll try and see what we can do we're getting some amazing light at the moment it really is a beautiful beautiful light uh, we've come up higher, we're going up the bank behind us. As you can see, we've got the bank behind us and we're gradually creeping our way up. The sunlight's coming in. I'm just playing with the polarizer and basically the polarizer's off because let's just take it off altogether. See what, see what we get with that. Um, yeah, I think I'll give it a go without the polarizer on altogether because you're getting the haze and it's the haze that makes the image. If you put the polarizer on and cut the haze out and you cut the glare out, you're losing the three dimensionality of the image and the cloud down here next to us is absolutely wicked. It's spiraling at the moment. Let me flick you around and show you. It's absolutely, oh, quick, spit you around quickly. You're gonna miss it otherwise. Just off to the left, just here. Just watch it there. It's spiraling round and coming round and round in circles next to us. It looks pretty awesome to be honest. But yeah, this is an absolutely fantastic photograph much much nicer that i think than the classic boring one that you get from the viewpoint um the one from the viewpoint you, yeah all right you get all the cliffs in behind it but it almost makes a store look a bit smaller so uh yeah i actually think i actually think this is quite a sweet image now i've gone in tight and i've also gone a bit wider because until you sort of see the images on the big screen i'm not sure what works best for me but i'm definitely liking the side light I'm definitely liking the nice rich colour greens it's getting off the grass where the sunlight's hitting it and I'm loving this spooky haze, oh I nearly slipped down the hill then, we're getting this spooky haze that's coming through the cliffs. Absolutely fantastic, really really pretty, quite nice, I wasn't expecting this. here on top of this rock I've just been stood up here on this boulder just here and uh, we're just looking down looking down the sort of the, the valley down behind store there uh, whether I'd take the shot here again or not I don't know but I do like that square pinnacle down there at the back then it sort of gives it a nice range leading all the way back so yeah not a bad little uh, not bad little shot but is it worth climbing up here that I don't know the problem is I've got to get down with my bag on me back and that is never easy I should have left it at the bottom really and walked up the guys are over there. Steve's just taken a selfie of me from over there as well. So chances are you've probably already seen it with a thumbnail. And I'm not alone. This young lad here has just climbed up behind me as well. So it proves it's not just me that's daft. But yeah, cool. Slightly different shot. Something a bit different. And a, a bit of an adrenaline rush, as, as you know me. Right, so we are done now. We're starting to head down. Uh, I haven't got my walking sticks. So I'm going to take my time. Uh, we've just been chatting to these three lovely ladies. Say hello, ladies. Oh, hello. Say hello. hello. They've been using and abusing me, taking photographs on their phone. It's terrible. It really is. <laughs> That's it. You give us that 20 quid. You're going to, you're going to wire it over to us. <laughs> They're actually traveling around. They're doing, oh, yeah. doing a lot of traveling and uh, we've got a lot of things on your plans, haven't you, to go? So, yeah, I'm well impressed and well jealous as well. But yeah, we're, we're heading back down now. Steve's just coming down from up the top. Um, we were really lucky with the weather. The weather did sort of pick up and gave us some really nice conditions as well. So time to say goodbye to store and uh, we'll find you somewhere else. I'm not going to film the trip back down because uh, I'm just going to be concentrating on keeping my knees from bending. Speak to you in a little bit somewhere else.
All right, just had to pull over on a lay-by because we're just driving up and I can see the Quarang over in the distance. This image, I reckon, is going to be amazing. I'm going to try and do a panoramic or a couple of small panoramics, put the longer lens on and just take a couple because I think the low-lying cloud and the way it looks from a distance, that Quarang area, proper Jurassic Park looking. And we're on our way to Kilt Rock or whatever you want to call it is the waterfall, but I've got to get a shot of this first. So I'm going to take it, put it up on the screen, and we're going to carry on. a quick stop at uh, Kilt Rock just to have a look at the waterfall. It's flowing over the top, it's quite nice to actually see a little bit of water coming on, but God, the view over the back there, looking down that Quarang range or whatever you want to call it, wow, that is just <sighs> unbelievable. Can't really get any photographs of it. Can't really get any photographs of it, but uh, yeah, pretty much a fantastic view. Anyway, I've just been shouting it on the radio, we're on the move again. Uh, I'm going to see if I can stop up the road, literally just to to get a long shot of this this mountain range is amazing. Well, that was an interesting one. Uh, we got uh, a complete roadblock coming up uh, the Quarang. It's a very, very tight single track road and uh, there is not many player passing places. The potholes, if you're going to come anytime recent to this video, are really bad, really nasty. Um, but because you've got the motorhomes coming up as well, it's making it extremely tight. And there was a bit of a chocker one there, so we've just had to wait a little while until everyone's cleared out of the way and now we're back up the top and uh, heading towards the ferry. So I'm going to get to the ferry and then I'm going to say goodbye because this has been long enough and it's all about me and the journey now rather than actual taking photographs. So there might actually be a couple of photographs on the ferry actually. That might be a nice way of finishing the video. So I'm just waiting for Andrew to turn up behind me now. He's coming up the hill behind. I can just see him in my mirrors and then we're going to crack onto this ferry. Managed to get across the single track road unscathed. Uh, we've got a little bit of a zigzag now to get down to the shoreline and then we'll be ready for our ferry. Half I can see the pier now, so uh, we're not far off our ferry. And if I have not given you enough clues, I'm in Uig and we're getting the ferry over to Harris and Lewis or Lewis and Harris. And that's our plan for our next video. Sat nav, so I've just been following the sat nav and it took me down a stupid little country lane uh, to get to the ferry instead of coming down the main road. I'm just waiting for Andrew to turn up and then I'm going to pull onto the ferry bay and wait for the ferry. The ferry is actually coming in now, so time for a yum yum and a cup of coffee, I think. Uh, I'm ready for lunch. So we are on the ferry. Car is in, van is in, locked down. Let's get out and get some lunch.
the other half of the crew. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? It's a Nikon. I have no idea. It's not mine though. You can go over the side of the boat for all I care. interesting uh, sky going on over in the distance I can try and take some few pictures of it but I don't even know if it's going to come out very well but it's definitely pretty cool to look at it's like little rain showers dropping down and hitting back and we've got some nice mountains in the background as well which is pretty nice so uh, we'll have a look see if we can take a couple of shots and and then I'm gonna enjoy Harris and take it to the next video so ferry here we are we are definitely out at sea locations one very 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 special location I'm gonna go and visit so you've got to join me on that one please do not miss that because it's gonna be a real epic one um, but yeah we've got a couple of nice places to visit so till next time thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you somewhere over yonder ciao for now Ta -da.